Good morning and a warm welcome to one and all for English class. Today our topic is LSRW skill, listening skill from unit 9, sight, sounds and feelings. As you all know, listening, speaking, reading and writing is a very important skills in English language. So firstly, unit 9, sight, sounds and feelings, class worksheet book, Work to be done today in English, class worksheet book, page 65 and 66, unit 9, sights, sounds and feelings, listening skill track 9 regarding ice cream and fizzy lemonade. The listening track will be played on this page. Okay. Then the second, reading and explanation exercises will be solved. Frame sentences will be done, page number 65. Now all will open page number 66. All will open page number 66 and you will listen to the track now. All will listen to the track now. Yes, all will listen to the track. And whenever you are listening to the track, please show me the thumb or send in the chat thumb up. Okay, so that I can understand that you are listening to the track. Fizzy lemonade. Ice cream is sliding, soft and cold, and gives a smooth and soothing coat on hot summer days to the back of your throat. Fizzy lemonade looks like water, but as you unscrew the bottle top, Bubbles crowd together in froth with a rushing sound and a sudden pop. It prickles and tickles your nose and tingles the back of your throat that needs another sliding soft ice cream to give it back a smooth and soothing coat. Okay. I'm going to repeat it once again. Just have once again, listen it once again. Okay. Ice cream and fizzy lemonade. Ice cream is sliding, soft and cold, and gives a smooth and soothing coat on hot summer days to the back of your throat. Fizzy lemonade looks like water, but as you unscrew the bottle top, bubbles crowd together in froth with a rushing sound and a sudden pop. It prickles and tickles your nose and tingles the back of your throat that needs another sliding soft ice cream to give it back a smooth and soothing coat. Yes. Now you can listen here. Unit 9, sound, sight, sounds and feelings. Listen carefully and fill in the appropriate answer in the blanks given in the op options. Okay. So this red color. You can see here red color. Yes. You can see the red color here, right? Summer, soft, right? Water, smooth, top, nose, sound, sliding, coat. Okay, now you are going to write the answers. You will write with me only now. Okay. Ice cream is sliding, dash and cold. Come on, start writing. Take your pencils in your hand. Okay. Ice cream is sliding, dash and cold. Answer is, who can say me the answer? Come on. It is soft. Come on, start writing. S-O-F-T, soft. Okay, and gives a dash and soothing coat. Gives a smooth, S-M-O-O-T-H. Come on, everyone will write with me only. Okay, then next. On hot dash days. On hot Summer, on 
hot summer days. Yes. To the back of your back of your throat. Now fizzy lemonade looks like water. Fizzy lemonade looks like water. The next, but as you unscrew the bottle, top. Okay, then bubbles go together in fruit with a rushing sound. With a rushing sound. and sudden pop. It prickles and tickles your throat. The next, and tingles the back of your, tickles your nose, sorry, it's nose. And back of your throat that need the another dash sliding. Soft ice cream to give it back a smooth and soothing coat. Okay, once again, I will read for you. Ice cream is sliding soft and cold and gives a smooth and soothing coat. And hot summer days to the back of your throat, fizzy lemonade looks like water, but as you unscrew the bottle top, bubbles crowd together in fruit. With a rushing sound and a sudden pop, it prickles and tickles your nose and tingles the back of your throat that needs the another sliding soft ice cream to give it back a smooth and soothing cold. Now these are the answers for unit nine, sight, sounds and feelings for the topic ice cream and fizzy lemonade. Okay, now come back to the frame sentences. All open page number 65. All open the page number 65. Yes. You can see here the unit 9, sight, sounds and feelings. So, now you are going to write the own sentences. Okay. No need to write whatever I have given. But I will just give you the idea. Okay. Like. You can write on your own, okay? But I will just give you a simple idea so that you can follow it, okay? Because there should not be any grammatical mistakes for you. Climbing. Now, climbing. You can give the sentence as, she turned and began climbing the stairs. She, P, S. See this S, you can see S here. It should be every time capital. When you're starting the sentence, you, the alphabet should be capital. Okay. She, S, should be capital. Turned and began climbing the stairs. Come on, start with me. Start with me. Come on. Stairs. 
full stop after this there should be full stop okay and underline climbing done girls and boys yes next one screaming scream what sentence you can make for scream scream means she tried to scream for example it was the scream of a soul or then you can give the word mm, tom take it tom t capital okay t should be capital opened his mouth to scream okay full stop then arranged scream underline then full stop then t capital please keep into your mind every word should start with a capital upper case okay then next arranged you can write she or he or mariam arranged her books on her desk okay so underline the word arranged okay and mariam m capital then full stop hope you all are getting me and understanding me and please start to write with me okay then next word gather okay gather come on start to write with me later you will not write you will write with me only now there is no too much of work gather you can write give me some time give me some time to give me some time to gather my things okay gather g capital next next word peace p i e c
P-I-E-C-E-S. Pieces. Okay, come on. You can write on your own also, but just for making your sentence grammatically correct. So I'm giving you an idea. Okay. Pieces. Me and or you can write I found pieces of papers on the floor. Okay, here it will be full stop. Then I will be capital, then pieces. Okay, I hope you all are doing right and all might have been finished. Good. I gave pieces of bread to the beard. Okay. No problem. Okay. Now I will enlarge this now. Okay. So that you can look it very clearly for you. Now you can see this. Yes. She turned and began climbing the stair. Tom opened his mouth to scream. Mariam arranged her books on her desk. Give me some time to gather my things. I found pieces of paper on the floor. Now this is the two activity we used to do in the class. And listen, listen carefully. There is another one activity for you in this weekend you're going to do with that. There is an activity unit nine. Now, you know acrostic poem I have taught you in the page number 85, an acrostic poem, right? Now, I am amazing i'm amazing it is written there right you will not write amazing over there you will write your name over there okay as i have given the wonderful encouraging and supporting words to this a4 admirable m4 magical a4 adorable z4 zestful i4 inspired n for noble g for graceful okay and you will sit and decorate your A4 size paper with A4, decorate the sheet and send it to me with one pick. One pick means the pick of the paper should be with you. Side, you have to take the paper and stand front of the paper and your picture should be there with your name. All will describe the meaning of your uh, names, al alphabets of your name. All will describe alphabets of your name. Like for example, I am a free. Write your name, Afreen, or you are Maryam, Muhammad, Am Ammar, Hamza, like this. Then you will write Afreen, A for admirable, F for um, uh, fearful, the fair, then R for uh, respectful, like this. Okay, you can use something encouraging words. Okay, and this is your homework for the weekend and all will complete your work. And please, please, please update me with everything. I'm going to record everything. Okay, and uh, we have finished with we have finished with this topic. Any doubt, please note it up, and I will clear it in the next class. Or you can message me. Please, will you will send me the updated work to me by WhatsApp in the form of images for updating my class record. Thank you, English teacher, Mr. Freen. Meet you in the next class. Bye, guys. Take care. Be healthy, and don't trouble your parents at home.
okay i hope everyone are praying five times everyone are get up early get up in early in the morning for salah everyone should make salah in the home don't trouble your parents okay do your work on time have breakfast lunch dinner everything and enjoy yourself okay and also remember me your offering teacher in your prayers bye take care assalamu alaikum